The Office of the Auditor General has officially handed over the annual report for financial year ended 30th June 2022 as mandated in Article 163 of the Constitution to the Speaker of Parliament. I wish to inform you that the scope of the audits has reached over 117,000, which is beyond the current capacity. The current capacity the office can, can handle. It indicates that out of the 139 billion shillings disbursed to implement the PDM program, 594 million shillings has not been accounted for. Disbursement of funds to circles that were not appropriately registered, for failure by circles to utilize funds, and five, it was also observed that the funds amounting to 594 million in five local governments were not adequately accounted for. The office has planned to review the implementation of the program on an annual basis. The Speaker of Parliament, Anita Among, said, in addition to strictly auditing PDM program, the Office of the Auditor General should put emphasis on value for money audits, including Parliament operations. You've identified on PDM. Because a lot of our money is going to PDM, so I think you need to be more strict on issues of PDM, the right people should be able to get the money, the right circles must be able to get the money, not the ghost circles. They must have an operating system that is going to help them track these kind of monies. And of course we need the database, because at the end of the day you're going to give somebody who is from across the money and you think that person is yours. This out of the 1,940 reports handled by the Auditor General's Office in 2021-22 financial year include payroll for teachers' salaries, audited 57 organizations and districts on use of government land, recovery costs in the oil and gas sector, among others. To ineligible teachers who had accessed the payroll using forged documents, uh, these payments alone amounted to $18 billion overpayments of salary, pension, and gratuity, and also delays uh, of up to about 12 months to access the payroll. Speaker is to give the reports to different committees to handle the findings of the Auditor General in a period of six months, as mandated by Article 163, Section 5 of the Constitution to complete their contability cycle. I'm Navka Farida and Gloria Gwitabinji at Parliament.